An amazing Australian startup, which if you haven't heard of, you need to know about them. This is quite an insane achievement we have here. They just revealed a 20 layer battery cell based on semi-solid lithium sulfur technology. An Australian startup has revealed a 20 layer battery cell. This is groundbreaking. This is based on semi-solid lithium sulfur technology. And the company is saying this battery has nearly double the gravimetric energy density and a comparable volumetric energy density to lithium ion cells. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. And yes, I am from Australia. This company is from Australia, but they're not from where I'm from. I'm from Victoria. This company is from Brisbane, which is in Queensland. Compared to ubiquitous lithium ion technology, lithium sulfur batteries have the potential to offer significantly cheaper, lighter weight energy storage, as well as cost and safety advantages. Yet the widespread use of these batteries faces hurdles that stem mainly from the limitations in the lifespan of lithium sulfur cells. PV Magazine Australia reports that in a bid to bring this technology closer to commercialization, Australian-based company Lee S Energy has announced the development of its first 20 layer battery cells utilizing third generation semi-solid state lithium sulfur battery technology. Now just so you know, semi-solid state batteries, they aren't actually purely solid state batteries, kind of a different mechanism. And, and there's been a lot of misreporting on what these batteries and these batteries and this battery technology, a lot of people on YouTube making these fake videos saying that uh, so-and-so company has a new solid state battery and it's not really, it's a semi-solid state battery. It's a very, very different product. So this company is not claiming they have solid state batteries. A semi-solid state battery is very different. Lee S Energy has been working with Victoria's Deakin University, the university that I went to, and PPK Group, among others, to develop the new battery cells, which eliminate the heavy metals like nickel, cobalt, and manganese used in lithium ion batteries. And that's one of the key reasons why these batteries are cheaper and easier to manufacture. You don't need to worry about getting those materials. Lee S Energy Cell is said to offer volumetric energy density of 540 watts per litre and gravimetric energy density of more than 400 watts per kilo and enhanced safety with the use of a low flammability electrolyte. Now, that energy density is extremely high. I believe Elon Musk said that commercial air flight needs around 400 watts per kilo. This is very close to that. It's in fact higher than any batteries currently being used in electric cars today. So not only does it have higher energy density than all the batteries in cars today, it's also cheaper. The Gen 3 battery cell has major advantages over the second generation iteration, including a 45% increase in volumetric energy density thanks to the use of a lower porosity cathode material. Now, when I first read that, I was just thinking, wow. I mean, imagine you make this battery technology and you think this is amazing what we've done. But no, 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 we, we can do a better version. Let's do a version two. You go back to the drawing board, you come up with version two, it works, and it's a 45% increase in energy density. That is just utterly ridiculous. What are they going to do for version three? What about version 10? Imagine how good that's going to be. Compared to current lithium-ion cells, this performance is nearly double the gravimetric energy density and a comparable volumetric energy density as well. Actually, it's a little bit higher. This means that Lee S Energy's battery cells are now the same size as existing lithium ion batteries, but they're half the weight, the company says. If this is true, half the weight, that that's basically like increasing the energy density by around what, maybe 40 to 50 percent possibly. Because weight is the biggest factor for why you see cars and you think, what on earth's going on there? That car has a 100 kilowatt hour battery and the range is no better than cars with a 60 kilowatt hour battery. It's because the weight is a major factor in range. If this battery is really half the weight of comparable lithium ion batteries with similar energy density, that means the energy density really, theoretically, is much, much higher than the competition. Plus the batteries are cheaper. Can you see how this is actually quite an amazing technology? It really is. The 20 layer cells use Lee S Energy's patented Lee Nanomesh technology and they incorporate boron nitride nanotubes. 
into the cell construction to reduce dendrite growth and improve safety and cycle life. Dendrite growth is one of the main things that actually decreases cycle life. So they've really focused on decreasing dendrites. Test cells have demonstrated sustained performance over 1,000 charge and discharge cycles while retaining a specific capacity almost three times that of a typical lithium iron cell. The new cells were produced in Lee S's Energy's Phase 2 facility in Geelong in Victoria. Where this test cell production is anticipated later this year, once the company's Phase 3 facility is complete. These Phase 3 is a 2 megawatt hour production line, which will enable more automated production and include what is potentially the largest dry room in Australia, says PV Magazine. In the coming months, we look forward to commencing the production of commercial samples for our partners, said Lee S Energy CEO Lee Finia. At this point, the Lee S Energy development team is working to develop the cell cycle testing and characterization results to produce an industry standard data sheet on the new 20 layer cells. Lee S Energy has identified electric aviation, so yeah, commercial airlines, and drones as key sectors where it has a competitive advantage due to the light weight of its batteries. This is an amazing thing. High energy density, half the weight, is the perfect solution for drones and aircraft. This is amazing. This could actually be the solution to what we need to commercialize electric airliners. That's pretty exciting. In 2022, the battery startup inked a deal with US-based e-aviation company Magni X, which will test the potential of the company's technology in large aircraft and for e-aviation applications. If this battery is what the company says it is, which it sounds like it is, I don't believe they're lying, then I really don't like throwing the word game changer out there, but think about it. It's just insane. I mean, it's half the weight. Half the weight really changes everything. It's completely different. I mean, the biggest prop, the biggest drawback with an electric car is the weight. It's something that companies are just focusing so heavily on reducing the weight. In particular, Tesla, it's their big advantage that they have over their competition. Their cars are much lighter than the competition. Therefore, they're getting way more range for the same battery pack size or for less battery pack size. Often, Tesla will use a smaller battery pack and get the same range as the competition. In fact, they pretty much do always. The weight of the car is so important. A 50% reduction in battery pack weight is absolutely mind-blowing, and I'm, I'm really excited for this technology. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.